The start to my experience at the Podestack Longevity Institute felt more like a spa than a day at the hospital. But the actual testing began like any normal doctor appointment. Dr. Doug Vaughn explains they'll do several tests across various body parts, essential to figuring out how people age at different rates. We measure uh, a variety of different things that change as a function of age. We do physiological measures, we do structural measures, we do molecular measures, and we sprinkle in a little bit of AI as well that gives us an overall picture of what your biological age is. His team wants to compare chronological age, or the number of years you've been alive, to biological age, or the wear and tear on your cells and tissues. The reality is that you know people in your family, you know people in your life that seem like they don't age or people that age more rapidly than others that might be modifiable if we can find the right ways to intervene. I was curious where my age would fall on the spectrum. So in the interest of science, it was time to suit up for the first test in the bod pod to measure body composition and fat percentage. Stylish. First off, help me understand why a swim cap and compression clothes are necessary. It involves air flowing around the body. So by having this compression material, the air flows more smoothly. Feet flat on the floor, hands resting on the top of the thighs. Great. So it kind of feels like I'm in a single person spaceship in here. It's really tight quarters. And when the test gets started, there's a clicking behind my head that I can hear. And the air pressure slowly increases, kind of like when you take off in a plane and your ears feel like they're about to pop. Next up, a retinal scan of the back of my eyes. We're going to be taking pictures of your optic nerve. So now we will dim the lights. Still there. Nice big eyes, you're gonna see bright light. Mm -hmm. There's the flash. Okay, there's the flash. These images of the veins and arteries behind the eye These are your blood vessels can reveal high blood pressure, early signs of blindness, and complications from diabetes. Next up, heart health is tested using an ECG to check rate, rhythm, and for any structural flaws. This ECG is normal, but the AI program can see things that we actually we cannot see looking at this sort of visually. Finally, a gait analysis. Sensors placed on my ankles and waist, which track how I walk. Feels a little different when you're being taped. <laughs> Showing live feedback on the researcher's screen to monitor how my nervous system responds. After about three hours of testing, the results are run through AI analysis to dissect my data, which ultimately told me that my biological age is just about right on track with my actual chronological age. If you want to think about potentially extending your health span, the right diet, exercise, healthy habits, avoid high-risk activities, I wouldn't be surprised to learn that uh, stress reduction might impact upon aging. Stress reduction in this job is a little tricky. <laughs> Do your best. The research team expects to find varying results from patients across all backgrounds. We intend to enroll all different socioeconomic groups, all different ethnic groups. We are particularly interested in studying and bringing in people that are disadvantaged with regard to aging. Researchers say these disadvantages can be related to diet, education, proximity to a green space, environment and air pollution, even zip code. With all of this in mind, the goal of the research, instead of extending one's lifespan, extending their health span. We can just slow down aging a little bit. Hopefully we can push back the onset of these aging related illnesses and that's your health span. So living a healthier life longer. Right. Hundreds of people from across the country have already signed up to get the testing done in Chicago, and that's the best part. Anyone can participate. The day of testing is free with the caveat that your results are saved to be used as part of the research to develop those new solutions. But in the meantime, you can use what you learned from the results, which turn around in just a couple of days, to start many, making any lifestyle changes now. It's really cool that it's part of a study. Because I feel like you've done this before, but it was very I expensive. Did that. It was expensive because it was private at the Princeton Longevity Center, which mm -hmm. is great information to have. It arms you with the whole arsenal of knowledge, like, okay, this is what I need to right. do to improve my health, specific to me. Yeah. But to be able to participate in research like this is fascinating. Mm -hmm. To broaden it and then help develop potential new solutions or interventions that can help, you know, decades down the road. So this was, was yours was at Princeton, yours was at Northwestern, go cats. I was just wearing purple just because. <laughs> but are there other places that may start doing this, or is this right now? still in the research so ultimately base. the goal Northwestern wants to link up with other medical institutions mm -hmm. around the world so they can mm -hmm. all work together get that research together and then help produce those new solutions but right now this is still very early stages and it's unique medicine that's, that's fascinating more thank you. Well thank you yeah it was good hey thanks for watching don't miss the today show every weekday at 11 a.m eastern 8 pacific on our streaming channel today all day to watch head to today.com all day or Click the link right here.